a Tiger Tea Bag demonstration for you. First of all, we'll start with a list of ingredients of everything you're going to need in order to be able to make this card. And today we're going to be using the fan fold for our tea bag. So, once you've cut out the tea bag shapes, you should have all eight squares, you're only going to need eight squares, so you can practice with the ninth if you wish. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've got the fan folds already done. So I'm going to show you how we're going to place them together now. Take in your glue stick. We're going to place these, one overlapping the other. Let's move those out of the way for the moment. So we're going to have one overlapping the other, like this. Best thing to do in order to get them to stay where you want them to be is to glue them. So we're just going to take the inside of one of them and we're going to glue it. So we're tucking the other tea bag in and then folding the top tea bag over it, like that. So, through the magic of television, I've now stuck them all together. There they are. As you can see, they've gone over and under, over and under, in order to create a pattern where four of the fans are placed on top, like that. I've also used a slightly thick card, so you can bend and manipulate the card and make the, the pattern look raised and stand up a little bit. Once you've done that, you take the tea bag backer sheet, cut out your tea bag backers, and then take one of your contrasting coloured card, place the tea bag backer on, on your card, draw around it, and then you're going to cut it out. So you'll be left with that. Then what we're going to do, this is also that we can make this tea bag backer a little bit stiffer, because it's going to take the tea bag design on top of it. So now I'm just going to place that on my tea bag backer, leaving a tiny little gap all the way around just so the contrasting card comes through. So it will then look like that. And then we're going to stick down the tea bag design itself. This is where having stuck it all together makes it a lot easier to do. There we go, we've stuck down the tea bag design in the middle of the tea bag backer. So it looks just like that. Now we're going to prepare the card that we're going to be using. So take one of your sheets of the A4 coloured card that's the same as the other colour, whichever colour you've chosen, I've just chosen a nice deep blue. Now we're going to do a gate fold on this. Now if like me, you haven't got a card folder, simplest and easiest thing to do is take a ruler, Measure along your card. It should be, if you've got an A4 sheet, about 29.7 centimetres, which means that halfway, if you go roughly to 14.8 centimetres, just make a mark on the middle of your card there at 14.8 centimetres. Make another mark with your pencil at the bottom. Draw a line down between the two marks and then just fold your card over until the edge is in line with your pencil line and crease it, fold the other side and it should line up, just get it so that it's lined up with your previous fold and crease it again and there you have your gate fold. So it's fairly straightforward and fairly simple if you don't have a card folder. Okay, so now we've got the gate fold, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the tea bag to it. Now the reason I've done it like this is because I want to create like a locking mechanism. Do something different with this tea bag card and create a locking mechanism. So that's why we've got the brad. So what you need to do is place the brad through the middle of your tea bag design, like this. And then we're going to attach it and you need it slightly over to one side of your card. Okay, you don't want, because obviously you can't attach it to the middle of the card. So you need it slightly to one side, like that. 
And then all we're going to do for the moment is we're just going to open up the bread so we can lay it flat again. Because now what we need to do is place the card flat with both sides down and we're going to draw around in the place where we want the tea bag to lay when it's unlocked. Okay? So what we're going to do is have it so that the design is straight on like that when it's unlocked. So once you've placed it and you're happy, just hold it down, grab yourself a pencil and just draw around your tea bag. So once again, by the magic of television, it's been cut out. So as you can see, it now follows the line of the tea bag. Hope you can see that. Follows the line of the tea bag. Now, even when we twist it at the moment, it's not going to hold it very well. And that's because we need something behind it to be able to sandwich and make it a lockable mechanism. So, to do that, you take another one of your tea bag backers, so you'd use two in total, just unfasten your bread and place your tea bag backer with the pattern, with the colour, facing downwards. Then push the sides of your bread out again, and because we don't really want to see that, that's another reason why we put the tea bag backer in there. Now get some of your double sided sticky tape and place it over the bread. Then all we're going to do, here comes a tricky bit because you've got to roughly line it up so that it sits in the middle of your circle. <gasps> the circle, I didn't tell you about the circle. So take your other piece of card, I've made sure that it's, card, that it's the same colour as the card that I'm using. You need a circle that's the diameter of around about 11.5 centimetres. So for that, like I said, you can either use something that you can draw around that's circular or use your compass. So obviously draw a circle onto your card, cut it out so you've got your circle. This is what's going to help it lock. So now placing the circle, now I've told you about it, so that your tea bag backer sits pretty much in the centre of it and press it down so it sticks. So there we have it. You've got your circle at the back that can twist and you've got your tea bag at the front that can twist like so. So now all we need to do is get it lined up so it will open. Press your card down so that you can lift this bit up and then twist it so it locks the card. And there you go. You've got your locking mechanism to your card. And I have to say, I'm pretty chuffed with that. So there you have the basic idea of how to make a Tiger tea bag locking card. Obviously from there you can go on to embellish it however you like. Here's one that I've done some very simple embellishments on. I've just used some peel-offs and I've used a tagline from our Zoo Animals CD. If you've liked these designs and you'd like to see more of the Zoo Animals, please go to our website and look at the Zoo Animals CD and the detailing.